Hey guys, and welcome back to another video. Today I'll be reviewing Epic Battle Set Cole vs. Ghost Warrior. Set number 71733, ages 6 and up, and yeah, the box is pretty good designed. 3D as well, not, um, not flat. Like, it looks flat, but 3D. If you are a Ninjago OG fan, then you will understand what this is. And I reviewed this yesterday, Kai vs. Kalkin, and I reviewed review these maybe tomorrow or after tomorrow. I don't know. And yeah, let's review it. Let's start off with the main figures as usual. So here we have Cole, and Cole in this set just looks amazing. I li I really love this suit, and especially his orange hands, which are the you know the power he uses, which is called RX. You know in the show in the show when he powers up his hands and punches, you know Earth punch. We get um, his herpes and his half mask, but this time it's not black; it's orange, which I th don't think we got this color before, and that's so cool. Yes, I really, and he has toe printing as well, wow, that's so unexpected out of Lego. And the details in the suit are just amazing. I really, really like that they using, they're using orange for Cole instead of gray. That's so much more better because Earth has the color orange, and you know what I'm saying. So, yeah, you can see his back, back printing, back printing, not, not that much here, but still a pretty cool figure. Let's move on to the next figure, which is the last figure of the but set. But before that, Cole comes with this scythe-looking accessory, which is pretty cool. So we can now move on to the next figure. So here we have Soul Archer. I, don't, I really don't know. Um, I don't think it's better than the previous one, 2015, because it has so much purple, which makes it cartoonish and funky. Unlike the original one, it's like more, you know, ghostly-looking. I mean, it's a pretty good figure, but the previous one in 2015 was so much better. And he comes with this as a, as an accessory. You can see, oh wait. I don't know why he doesn't come with a bow. He's an archer, but okay. You can see his face here. Only one face print, nothing at the back. Let's see the back printing of his torso. Pretty cool. You can really see, oh, there we go. And yeah, let's review the set itself, shall we? So here it is, guys, the main build itself. You know, as the previous review, this set is simple and small, and this is the idea of it. And it's pretty cool, kind of. You have this oversized, so oversized lantern. That's so good. It gives you, you know, season 5 possession vibes, the ghost town and stuff. You have an egg, which is kind of a rare piece at the moment. I don't know. Not really. And you have this piece. You know, you can cook stuff in it. You can even boil the egg. So, that's so good. And, if you want to buy the set, just forget the awesome minifigures. Forget this cool build. You can, you have to buy it for the stinky hot dog. That's that's the main purpose that I bought the set for. The stinky hot dog. So, I recommend you get it for the stinky hot dog. So, yeah. Okay, anyway, jokes aside, guys. This set is so cool. Probably my favorite. This and the one for Zane. I saw some reviews on it. I don't. Re I don't really know anything about it. Or I actually know, but this is my favorite. So yeah, that's it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and before I finish the video, I just want to show you something here, pretty quick. There we. Wait a second. There we go. It also comes with this spinner thingy. You can spin it. As well as the one, every single battle, epic battle set has these, so pretty cool, fun feature. You can spin it, and it's like spinjitsu. That's pretty good. Thank you guys so much for more, so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and see you next time. Bye.